Why are we still struggling with domestic duties? <sighs> so as I'm doing some research, I noticed that 25% of recently divorced people said that disagreements over housework represented the primary reason for the dissolution of the marriage. 25%. Now, I want you to stay to the end of the video because I'm going to give you the main reason why we struggle with these domestic duties. So there's two videos. One, there's a wife who's very upset with her husband because she's saying that she had to clean up. She have to change the kids, give the kids baths. She have to do all these different things to keep the household running. Uh, fix him dinner and then he want to have sex at the end of the night and she's just frustrated and she's filing for divorce because she's like I just can't take this anymore that's one video the next video is a guy named Sid you might be familiar with him he has more than maybe 300,000 followers on Instagram so I'm watching this reel of him and his wife, I believe his blog, his video blog is based on him helping out around the home, helping his wife. I believe she's a stay at home mom. And I want to talk about statistics on stay at home moms, too. So he talked about how in this specific reel, how he helps around the house and how he folds his wife clothes and basically not having gender roles when it comes to cleaning the home. And he said that his wife folds the the baby's clothes why he does why he folds her clothes and how we have to get out of our mind having these gender roles about what a man should do around the house and what women should do around the house and the interesting thing about the comment section was people now they were mixed okay there were some positive comments and, and there were some negative ones and some of them even had to do with race and I was just like oh my god and that's another show for another time some people talked about how he shouldn't be too excited about hey man it's just clothes you know and then you got women who were saying that this is good that he should do this as far as helping around the house right so that was a lot of the comments so I want to talk about there was a poll that I took on Twitter and I asked the women about would they be willing to be a stay at home mom. And 67% of the women who answered said yes. 67% said they would be willing to be a stay at home mom. So I found that very interesting that even in this day and age, because you do have some women who prefer to work. Then you have women who's willing to be a stay at home mom. I think stay at home moms are very important. I think they don't get the respect that they deserve because, I mean, here it is. She's raising your kid. She can possibly be raising the next president of the United States. Let's not let's let's never underestimate the value of a stay at home mom because she doesn't punch out. Right. There's kids there. They always need things. There's, you know, the attention and reading to them and playing with them. There's so much that go into stay-at-home moms. And my wife and I had a conversation about this the other day, about the importance of community, that if you do have a community of women who are stay-at-home moms, that you all can kind of rally around each other and help each other out. Because I feel like there aren't enough women in communities where they are stay-at-home moms and they can't help each other. Because if you are a single mom, and you are by yourself, it can just be that much more challenging where you feel like you can't identify with your friends because they're talking about their careers and their jobs and how they're getting these pay raises and taking these trips. And here it is, you're at home with these kids. So you need that community uh, of women who can identify with you when it comes to being a stay-at-home mom. Now, I will say this about women and call me what you want to. I get it in the comment section. Yeah, I've been called worse. OK, I do believe that women get a raw deal when it comes to marriage. I do. Women have to cook. They have to clean. They have to take care of the kids and then they have a career. Now, back in the day, if you were a stay at home mom, that's just that was your primary thing was taking care of the household. Now, she has to take care of the household and work. 
and help balance the bills and all these different things. And she got to go half on everything with you. And I don't want to talk about the 50 50 thing. Please, let's not go there. So women really do get a raw deal when it comes to marriage. According to The Guardian, in heterosexual relationships, 65% of women do the physical household work, 65%. According to Pew Research Center, 62% of adults saw sharing chores as vital to marital success. And as I stated earlier about the divorce rate, about 25% of that comes uh, marriages. People go through divorces because they're they're not discussing the household chores. So let's jump into the three reasons I believe that household chores become marital stressors. Now, let's start with the origins of this whole thing, right? I believe... And even doing some research of my own and seeing people that I've talked to from clients to uh, churches everywhere. A lot of times men grow up in households where the mom basically does everything for him. And a lot of times in in single parent households and there's no shade against single parents. I, I, I got love for my single parents. You already know. I'm just saying sometimes single parents can be under the gun when it comes to trying to provide for the child, trying to protect the child, trying to keep the home clean, all these different things. So if she have a son, a lot of times she's just going to do things for him. She's going to fix his bed for him. She's going to clean up behind him. She's going to wash his clothes. And when she's doing that, she's trying to save herself time. Because she has so much going on opposed to trying to get him to get it right and trying to help him to fix his bed, trying to get him to clean up behind himself because it takes more work. Shoot, my wife and I struggle with three kids and we married. So I only can imagine a single parent dealing with this. Right. I'm just using this as an example. When she does that, he gets older and over time he gets accustomed to mom doing these things for him. If she's not aware she has to realize that she's going to be raising uh, someone's husband, right? And he can take these same uh, habits that he had at home of really not doing much into his relationships with his girlfriend onto his wife. And he would even look for certain women to be his mom for him. So a lot of times women struggle with trying to have a man to help around the house it's just that he's al- it's already been ingrained in him. So he has to take the initiative to want to make the change. The next one is, as an adult, you start to, maybe you're going to live with someone, maybe you're about to get married, right? And rarely does anyone talk about the household chores. A lot of times people talk about money, They talk about kids, all these different things when they're coming into one household. Rarely do they have the conversation about who's going to do what. So what happens is people get into relationships, they live together, and then she's wondering why he's buying a whole bunch of uh, paper plates from Costco or Sam's Club. And she's wondering why he's buying all these plastic forks and spoons because he don't like washing dishes, right? So you have to have these conversations or maybe he doesn't like washing clothes or maybe she doesn't like sweeping. Maybe she these different things. Maybe he's not into cutting grass. Maybe he wouldn't have paid somebody to cut the grass. Not having these conversations is going to hinder the relationship because now all of a sudden you're looking at all of these different obstacles that you have to overcome when it comes to household duties. Shoot, my wife and I, we even have a a dry erase board where we have everything that we do in the house and what's expected of us. There's no gender roles kind of thing. I'm throwing on my air quotes. It's just more of let's do what needs to be done. Maybe you a little better at me in this area and vice versa. So we do what we need to do to get done for our household and we stick to that. So that way we're not struggling about who's going to do what. And then you also want to fill the need. Fill that gap, right? If you know something needs to be clean, clean it up. It shouldn't boil down to a gender role or this is on your list or or my list. Just do it. 
because you are a team. And when you look at it from a team perspective, you can get that much more accomplished without all the arguments about who should be doing what. The number one reason why so many couples struggle with domestic duties. I was doing some research on Fast Company. Uh, Fast Company is a tech company, and I'm pretty sure you are familiar with them. They said this. In a recent study, we showed that men aren't dirt blind. They can see a mess just as well as women. And then they say, they are simply less severely penalized for not keeping their spaces neat and tidy. I repeat that again. And they're saying men are simply less severely penalized for not keeping their spaces neat and tidy. So I was on social media the other day or today, actually, and I, I asked the question, do women judge other women for not having a clean home? you know, for whatever that looked like, because I think clean is subjective to certain people, certain people, their houses look a little different than others and they think it's clean. And women say, yes, we judge other women in the comment section below. Let me know if you are a woman watching this. Do you judge other women for their house not being maybe up to par or maybe even your standards? Let me know in the comment section below. I think that's important. So when you do, when women do feel judged about their house not being tidy, they are consistently always in cleaning mode, especially if they have a company, even just for everyday stuff. It's just like I have these expectations of myself as a woman to make sure my house is clean. So even when you even if you do look at gender roles, right, because I think we still struggle with that to this day. If someone come over your house and the house isn't clean, they're going to look at the woman. If someone comes over and the electricity isn't on, <laughs> they're going to look at the man. So a lot of times I do believe that there is some gender roles that we still are trying to overcome uh, in this day and age. Hey, thanks again for watching another segment of A Scary to Remarry. I have so much more amazing content and some phenomenal guests as well. People who've been through a divorce, people who remarry, people who desire to marry. So much great content. So make sure that you hit one of these videos. It's somewhere around here, but anyway, go watch another video.